folks. Today I'm here to talk to you about a topic that is uh, really close to my heart and something that I'm really passionate about, and that's water. So most of you guys uh, found me because you're familiar with my work in the ozone market, which is all my work with air. But for uh, the past several years, I've been working with water and with water, different types of water structuring, treatment, um, electrolytic devices. And here, I'm, I'm, today I'm going to demonstrate for you an amazing product that we've added to our product line. And, you know, for those of you that aren't familiar with it, you know, our water in the United States is actually poisoned. And it's poisoned by our municipalities. What, they, what I mean by poison is they actually add high levels of fluorine or fluoride, sodium fluoride typically, to our water supply. And sodium fluoride is a toxic chemical byproduct of either refining bauxite into aluminum or in many cases um, uh, it's a, a byproduct of plating out um, precious metals. And it's a, a chemical waste product that they would have to get rid of and dispose of as, as hazardous waste. But through a scheme that was hatched in the 1940s, they now sell this um, toxic fluoride ion to the municipalities who put it into our drinking water. And then they give it to the toothpaste companies who put it into our toothpaste. And it's not the calcium fluoride that was shown to have some benefit in, to, um, you know, tooth decay, stopping to decay. It's sodium fluoride, which is really just a toxic, poisonous ion. And the fluorine molecule is more reactive than any other molecule on Earth, even more reactive than ozone. It is a crime that is put into our water, our drinking water supply. You know, the first person that is on record to add that um, to drinking water supply was Adolf Hitler. And they added it to the drinking water of their prisoners of war. It is a horrible thing. We should never ever be drinking municipal tap water because of the high levels of fluoride that are in it. But we have discovered a water filtration system that is just amazing, folks. This water filtration system not only removes all of the chlorine, removes all of the bacteria, it removes all of the, the pathogens, and it, it actually magnetizes the water, it softens it, it it adds um, valuable minerals to the water. It removes all of the toxic fluoride molecules in the water, and it super hydrates your body. It gives you really pure drinking water that you can use in your home. And folks, that's just something that is a, such a precious commodity in the United States of America. People spend billions of dollars on drinking water in this country that typically is stored in plastic bottles. If you don't know much about water and plastics, the two do not go together very well for long-term storage. It's okay to pass water through a, a plastic line. Not nearly as bad as storing it inside a plastic container. And what we've got here is really state-of-the-art water filtration. You may have heard of the latest craze. It's called alkaline water. And folks, alkalizing your water is a good idea because our our bodies have become very acidic and this water filtration system that I'm going to show you here is just literally revolutionary. It comes with everything you need to install this under your your countertop and it also comes with the supply to put it into uh, your drinking water into your tap. It's everything you need in the kit including uh, the drinking water applicator that, that mounts on your sink. And this allows you to take the water that comes in from your city water supply and send it through a five-stage filter process. I'll take this apart in, in video in just a few seconds and show you exactly what these filters look like.
folks, what we have here is a five-stage filtration pro process. We've got um, the composite fluoride and heavy, heavy metal removal filter, and this will pull up all of the heavy metals and all of the toxic fluoride ions that are in the water. We've got your compressed catalytic activated carbon. This gets rid of all the chlorine, all of the odors, and all the solid substances. Then we've got your, the ultra fil filtration membrane. This pulls out all of the harmful microorganisms and bacteria and, any, and it retains all of the minerals that your body does need. Then we've got the coconut activated charcoal filter. This removes the color and the smell and absorbs all of the organic matter. It removes the residual extra heavy metals and it takes the rest of the chlorine from the water to further remove the taste. And then we've got the, the FIR energy and remineralization uh, balls and then the activated carbon is the last stage. This is what alkalizes the water. So this is a natural way of alkalizing the water that you're drinking. There are so many of these electrical alkaline water systems that have been put on the marketplace. Companies like Kang and Sullivan and a hundred Chinese knockoff companies. And unfortunately, um, what you're left with is a, a product that is really uh, not too healthy to drink. Um, this keeps your water in the alkaline range of about 8.5 pH and it's all done naturally and it naturally ionizes the water. So you've got naturally alkalized ionized water that's super healthy to drink. It pulls out all of the fluoride, all the heavy metals, it pulls out all the microorganisms, it reintroduces new, new minerals, and it magnetizes the water, changes the bond angle, and gives that water the, the, the ions that it needs to make it super healthy. It comes with what you need to install it on your sink and give yourself a true under-the-counter water filtration system to let you be able to actually drink your city tap water for the very first time and get healthy mineralized, alkalized, ionized water. Folks, if you have been looking for some system that will not break the bank, that will allow you to drink your own tap water, you found the right system. Similar systems to this sell for over $1,500 to $2,000. You just, if you love your family and if you love to drink good water and you don't want to drink the poisonous stuff that the municipalities give us today. You owe it to yourself to invest in your family and get the alkalizing, remineralizing fluoride removal system at the home of the BioBlaster. Don't take my word for it. Buy one today, install it under your kitchen sink, and start drinking healthy, pure water. Today we're going to go over the basic installation of our awesome new five-stage filtration, ionizing, alkalizing, fluoride, chlorine, and heavy metal removing, and remineralizing filter system. It's a real simple installation if you have a basic modicum of technical ability. If you don't have a sink that has a pop-out, we're going to show you how you can install this in a kitchen sink that does not have um, a knockout for a drinking water pump. So we're going to be installing this countertop fountain that comes with the filter system. We're going to be uh, drilling a hole through the top of the kitchen sink. And then we're going to be mounting this in an under-the-counter uh, mounting situation. Now this can be mounted in a, in, uh, a kitchen for someone that wants to. Uh, um, on the wall, if there's room for it on the wall in this particular kitchen, the best place to do this is under the kitchen sink where out of sight is out of mind. So the first thing that you need is a, a tape measure. You need to measure the distance where you're going to be marking uh, the spot for your pilot hole. You're going to be wanting to use a very small uh, drill bit to drill your pilot hole. And then we're going to be using this Christmas tree bit to get the larger hole for the shaft of this uh, fountain attachment. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to, we've already marked this hole, we're going to 
start a pilot hole and begin drilling. And we're going to go right through that. Now we've got a pilot hole in our kitchen sink. The next step is to shut off the water um, to the, these sinks and we're going to be installing this underneath the countertop which is the valve that gets us water to and from our filter system. Back in just a second. So we have disconnected the water as you can see. Uh, both of these faucets are in the on position. There's no water coming out. It's a good idea to have a pan or a bucket handy when you go ahead and disconnect the water under the sink because there'll be a small amount of water trapped in the supply lines between the main line and this line. We're going to do that in just a second here and we'll show you how to install this handy fitting. Make sure this is good and snug because we don't want any water leakage. And voila. Now we'll put tape on our old fittings again so we can put this all back together. Now that we have our inlet connection with the shutoff uh, hooked up, we can remove our drip pan that held all that water that dripped out of the lines. We've sized the Christmas tree bit with the nut that goes on the bottom of our faucet. So we know exactly how deep to drill our hole. We're going to do that. Folks, what we're going to do next is we've got our hole drilled in the sink top. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the scushion plate and the rubber washer that's included with our uh, filtration system. And we're going to thread it carefully up the top to the water dispenser. And then we're going to take the rubber washer and do the same thing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come and drop this through our hole to underneath the sink. Now on the bottom side we have a ring washer, a flat washer, and a nut. And so I'll go up down and put this on the bottom side next. So well, that's it folks. We're we're now mounted. Now all we've got to do is replace the face and connect the water lines and we'll show you that in a second. So now what we're going to do is we're going to connect the water supply line to the inlet filter and we're going to connect the drinking water tap 
uh, to the outlet filter and then we'll put a ball valve on uh, a handy included drain that we have if we ever want to drain this out uh, into a bowl or something while we're, b before we change the filters. But it's real simple. Um, this is the connection for the supply. This is the inlet, so we're going to connect those. And I want to keep it out of the way of the stuff that gets stored under the sink. So I'm going to use a little bit longer uh, piece of hose there. They're really neat. I can always trim it a little bit shorter if I need to. So what we do is we take the nut, thread it on the pipe, push it over top of the supply so now we have that connected folks and you can see that connection right there and now we're gonna go thread the hose up and around and connect it into the water inlet so folks here you have it, a successful under-the-counter installation of the complete water filtration, ionization, fluoride and heavy metal removing system that also alkalizes the water without electricity, which is the natural right way to do it. And if you'll see, it has a simple shutoff valve. If you want to stop the water from flowing into your cell, you shut it off and open it up to let it flow. This is a drain valve if you're ever going to drain the filters to change or replace them and uh, quite easy and convenient now we can put the stuff back under the kitchen sink and it's just that easy in your house so folks if you're ready to stop drinking that fluoridated poisonous tap water it's just this simple the countertop carbon free heavy metal free, fluoride free, drinking water that's alkalized, mineralized, and oxygenated. And you can see that in these refreshing bubbles that are located inside the glass. Now that's pure water.